Yo, what's up guys, x one one x back again for the tutorial video. This is my second take on this uh, tutorial. Or as you can see, there's something on the screen. That screen right there is actually equivalent to a blue screen on the uh, VCR. Let's try it one more time. And now it's just a blank or black screen. So, yeah. That means the game is not being read by the pin connector in the Super Nintendo. But, uh, yeah. I actually did this one before, so, uh, Samurai Showdown, which it looks like it went to hell and back, and uh, yeah, but that doesn't really matter, Just out, that's just the keys, um, or the outer here, but this is what really matters right here, these are the pins that you need to clean, as you can see they're super shiny, um, right there you can see like lines straight down, and right there's curved ones, don't ever cut those, I forgot to mention in the first one, uh, like an idiot, uh, I didn't mention those, but uh, just be careful with those, don't cut them, or you will regret it, especially if you're using a, or cleaning a game like Super Mario RPG, or Harvest Moon, or something like that, so let's get started with this, uh, let's get started with this video, or this tutorial, let me sit down my camera, the tools you will need is like the first one, which I forgot to mention this one in the beginning, uh, sandpaper, you can buy it the dollar store, it could be generic, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, mine is uh, 3M I think, but I forgot where I got it, I think my girlfriend gave it to me, but uh, yeah, this is the 3.8 uh, millimeter security bit tool, this is actually optional, it's a interchangeable um, screwdriver I guess, you can change the heads and stuff, this is optional, it makes my, <laughs> my life easier, so let me see what else do I have here. You need a, a napkin, a uh, wet and dry napkin actually. So yeah, that's pretty much all the tools you will need. Let me just wet this napkin, I can't find my, um, the one I wet before. But yeah, now it's wet, so let's get started. So, and I just said, I think I said that already like a couple times already, but uh, let's get started. As you can see, it's the same thing actually with the, the NES. If you hear like a crack or a snap or something, that means it's the virgin, which is never... That means it's never been tampered with, which is a good thing because uh, most of you guys buy stuff on the flea market and stuff. So let me just move those screws over there on the side. Let's see if we can hear this one. Alright, you guys probably heard that one. So this is my take two because I wasn't really satisfied with um, the first one. And also, I already forgot. Um, let us see here. So if you're not even being prepared or nothing. Uh, but this is Yoshi's Island. There's actually two different variations with uh, carts. As you can see, there's more pins on this one. See, there's a, there's like a, sp a gap right here, and then there's another piece, and the same thing right here. This is a regular Super Nintendo, or, uh, Super Nintendo PCB board. But the other one is actually extended, I guess. That's because uh, I think this one used a uh, FX chip. But it was like a, a prototype of uh, what they use because this one used uh, I think 3D rendering or something. And also there's another one, um, another piece that's different. Uh, there's a silver piece in there. I don't think you can see it, but there's a silver piece in there. And uh, yeah, don't lose that part either. So let's get started. Sorry about my blabbering. But yeah, there's the game. And holy crap, this is why it did not work. As you can see, it's just. <laughs> It's just dark as hell. I'll shine it in the light. Now you can see it. But yeah, it's really, really corroded and dirty and stuff. Which is, uh, yeah. I actually bought this game like, for like a dollar back in the day. Like in 2008. My friend, he sold me like a couple of good games. Like Turtles in Time for a dollar. Believe it or not. So get your sandpaper and start sanding it. Let's see if we can bring this camera closer. Or, yeah, I can't really, whatever I'll do with it. Then I'm trying to put it like here. It's just because I can't really stand it comfortably. Like, you can even see bulky and stuff. We 
can also use steel wool, which I forgot to mention in the beginning. Um, Q-tips and alcohol won't work, especially on this stuff right here. This needs to be sanded down or steel wool, I guess, off. So let's look at that now. It's like fresh out of the factory. <laughs> Another side, watch this. Try to get some light in there, so yeah, I think you see that already. Alright, so. Let me just this one real quick, sorry guys. Alright, that's the back now. So you know it's super clean now. And it just came out of the factory. Uh, there's still some, kind of looks like copper now, but uh, yeah, that's what it looks like afterwards. So grab your wet napkin, which I forgot to talk about in the first one, and just kind of like wet it, and then afterwards get your dry napkin and dry it off. Pretty much take it a bath, take the pins a bath, <laughs> or whatever shower. Damn it, stupid camera. Wish I had my tripod still, but it broke. See, so you can see some dirt right there. That's kind of just sand, but still. Um, so grab your enclosure now. Let's see, this is one. Yeah, I think so. All right, you can also clean this, which I recommend because you don't want any grime and stuff. This is inside of the cart. See, that's the back piece, but I'm um, clean inside. Just grab your uh, wet napkin and just uh, wet it and dry it, which I recommend because I don't want any grime in my uh, Super Nintendo. Which is exactly why you put in a, a, like a door inside. Well, not really a door, but like it re it's retractable. Whatever, I'm just blabbering here. <laughs> Alright, so. Seems about dry. Wait. Stupid water. Alright, sorry about that. It's just not dry enough for me. Alright, so grab your PCB board. Grab the top, I mean the back actually. And uh, make sure it fits inside. As you can see now, it's fitted. Now grab the, the front label of your Super Nintendo cart and uh, just tuck it under right here in the corner. Let's see here. Damn it. I'm like missing out on most of the video. But yeah, tuck it in like so. As you can see, it's come undone. But just tuck it under like. Uh, put it. Yeah, I'm like stuttering. All right, we'll push it under. Push it under, and then it'll lay, flat, lay down flat. So there you go. You put your game back together, and uh, I just kind of just messed up on this video, but uh, turn the game on, and it's working flawlessly for a try. No questions asked. Don't ask, don't tell. And uh. Yeah, now it's working flawlessly. It's not even... <laughs> no doubt it works now. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, share with all your friends, your gamer friends, or uh, collector friends of video games uh, like. So just, yeah. Uh, leave any comments below if you guys are interested. Or not interested, uh, just want to share some stuff. Or leave a comment. But later, guys.